Yes, OBJ is meeting with the Dolphins, who already have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Do we like the fit of Odell, in parentheses, and Kim K, on South <laughs> Beach? I love them on South Beach. You know, they frequent South Beach, you know, uh, often because it's the hottest city on the planet, in the planet. Is it on the planet or in the planet? On the planet. It's the hottest city on the planet. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Well, I'm asking you. We I would say by weather. Some people mm. think we live in, in a dome, so it might be in mm. the planet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Depends on if it's flat around. Yeah, right, David right. Grubman, all the things that he's doing in the hospitality space down here and expanding to Vegas and all of that. So they're always here um, doing some cool things. Uh, so I can see them from a lifestyle standpoint fitting right in. But from a football standpoint, it absolutely it makes no sense because I truly believe uh, there's still uh, more in the tank for Odell, and there's a lot that he can give to the game. And I'm talking about impacting the game in a major way. If Odell didn't go down, and this is the challenge with Odell right now in his career, you know, the second part of his career is the injuries. But if he didn't go down in the Super Bowl, he would have been Super Bowl MVP. Absolutely. This was a guy that didn't score any touchdowns or maybe one or two touchdowns when in his tenure with the Cleveland Browns gets traded to or cut, right? Because the whole situation in Cleveland with Baker Mayfield and those guys gets picked up by the Rams. And then all of a sudden in four or five games, he's scoring a touchdown a game, right? Perfect situation for him. So Odell in... Miami doesn't make sense because I love Waddle. He's younger, healthier, faster at this time. He's explosive. And you got Tyreek Hill. Some say he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. So I don't like the fit there because he still has so much more to give to the game. And I want to see him in red. I would love to see him with the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh. I think Odell there uh, impacts that team in a game more anywhere else. Like I can see Odell with the Kansas City Chiefs with 10 touchdowns. Mm. I can see Odell, you know, last year he had right, right around 500-something yards off of almost 40-something catches. Like, I can see Odell having maybe 800 yards in that, in that offense. That's a that's a, that's huge impact for a team that already has Travis Kelsey, just traded for or picked up uh, Hollywood Brown, and they have the, the young guy, Rasheed Rice. Yep, Rasheed right? Rice. Rasheed, Rasheed Rice. Rice. Yep. But I can see Odell coming in and impacting that game and that team in a major way. No, nah, hell no. You go to Miami. And, 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 <laughs> Damn, he waited. He waited for you. Yeah, he let you finish. Like, and you're done. I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> no, but, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you why. Money, no state income tax. You're making more. Yep. That's A. B. Your brand. You're in Miami. You're with Kim. That's. I mean, he doesn't need help with his brand, but fashion, everything he does off the field, he can do media. He can come on I'm athlete. Blow up, right? I like that one. Right? I, yeah, I like yeah, that yeah, last yeah. one. Like how you think you can train here with the boys? I could throw to him in the off season. <laughs> <laughs> We go to Paris Fashion Week. I got, I got this whole thing, all right? It's just so much you can do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then three is the football. I think you have the potential of creating probably or possibly the most explosive offense of all time with what Mike McDaniels is doing to uh, we know the backs, how fast they are. You have Waddle, Tyreek, Odell, and Mike McDaniels was just in Texas Pro Day watching Xavier Worthy. Who just ran what four two one four two four two three yeah, four two one I, I believe four two two the first time four two one there the second. you go either yeah. way dude's a track star mm -hmm. take him at the end of the first which he'll be there you've got Odell at X Waddle at slot Tyreek at Z and then you throw in Xavier at like your adjuster your slot on your right that tell me that's not the most explosive offense of all time it is but how do you keep everyone happy we saw right. last year Waddle I like that great job. Yeah. But how do you keep everyone happy? You notice as a quarterback, you know, us receivers, they call us divas. And it's not that we're divas, but it's our, my, my, my destiny is in the hands of you in this offensive coordinator calling the plays. And so how do you make us all happy? Is, there, is, is, is that one ball enough for everyone? I do think the right blueprint template to be an explosive offense or efficient offense that have three dynamic pass catchers and they can come so many different ways. It could be three wide receivers. It could be two wide receivers and a running back, two wide receivers and a tight end. It could be one wide receiver, two tight ends, right? So, like, there's different ways you can put it together, but you need three. So I do like uh, Mike McDaniels having a OBJ, Waddle, and a Hill 
But I just don't think I think that offense struggled last year keeping Waddle and ke- keeping both of those guys happy. So that's, See, that's my that's challenge. I think thing. I think that you I think that you may lose Waddle if you bring in a guy like OBJ and now he takes a chunk of that production. I think mm-hmm. that's the challenge. Yeah, I, I agree a little bit with both of you guys, but I definitely uh, believe that Miami is the team for him because wow. he is entering his retirement. And Miami is the perfect team for most guys to go to when they're finishing up their career. Like you said, a lot of benefits to it. <laughs> um, and Miami is a losing team. So, BC, I want to know what do you think about this from the from the <laughs> culture perspective, like as far as his impact on Miami. As you can tell, I don't like the Dolphins. Nah, yeah, man. I just, losing I, team is crazy. <laughs> I just think he should just chill. I think listen, Miami could work if he would be willing to accept that position, you know, the position of like I'm not going to be the number 1 guy. There's Waddle here, you got Hill here as an extra, you know, um target, yeah. But if he comes here expecting a lot of touches and stuff like that and coming with that mentality, then no cuz they already have what they have going on. Um but uh, you know already where I stand at. I just think he should just ride off in the sunset with it right now. <laughs> yeah, and, and keeping up with the uh, the Beckhams. Keeping up with the no, it won't be that. It'll just be the Kardashians. Yeah, It'll be the Kardashians. Kardashians. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 